doing, poopy head? What you doing, poo? Good morning, guys. What's up, YouTube? Well, welcome back to the, or welcome to the first episode on my channel here. Uh, <clears throat> this particular show is meant to give you guys a look into my personal life, how I live, what I do from day to day, um, how I train, what, yeah, I mean, totally different than any content that you guys have ever seen. If you're into this kind of stuff, uh, drop a comment. Let me know what you guys think about this. And if you're enjoying it, I'll get better, hopefully, at doing it as time goes by. But I want it to be natural. Uh, when I film these, I'm not picking days where I'm intentionally doing something that I wouldn't already be doing. So I want it to be real and natural for you guys. So I'll do these once a week, Lord willing. There's nothing I'm really training for right now, uh, which is makes this an odd time to start these videos uh, because right now I'm not. There's no race on the calendar. We're going into winter time. Um, not a whole lot going on. So uh, gearing up for some deer season, and I'm about to get started looking at some new pieces of land. And uh, I'll take you guys along with me on that journey. Hopefully we find something this winter. And uh, we'll get to work on that. But anyways, I was reading this morning in the book of Luke, chapter 15, the story of the lost son that Jesus tells. And the story is so beautiful. You know, I pride myself on being a writer and a storyteller at times, but the way that Jesus Christ tells his parables, um, they're just absolutely amazing. And this is a great parable in particular because I can truly relate to it. And if you guys haven't read it, go read it. But the gist of it is there's a son who takes his inheritance early he leaves his father's home. He goes out into the world, squanders it, uh, lives a very rambunctious life. Uh, the Bible calls it riotous living. And uh, he squanders everything he has, and he winds up being a servant to someone in a foreign land, a land where a famine hits, and he's hired to go out and feed pigs. And... Um, He's so hungry that he's eating the the corn husks uh, after the pigs are done. And he says, 
heck with this, I'm going to humble myself and go back to my father and uh, tell him I've sinned and ask that he would receive me back and uh, not even as his son, but as just a hired servant. He goes back to his father and his father is joyful to see him. He forgives him of all of his foolishness and um, the father brings forth the best robe and puts it on him a ring on his hand and shoes on his feet. He kills a fatted calf and they throw a big celebration because the son is back. So I can really relate to this. And um, this is how I feel like my father in heaven received me back because I also lived a riotous life and squandered uh, a lot of time a lot of resources, and my father received me back and clothed me in the best road, put a ring on my hand and shoes on my feet, gave me purpose in life, and this morning I'm thankful for that. Thank you guys for being here. All right, we'll get on about our day. So we're not much on watching TV. I do watch a little YouTube every now and then like you guys. Um, but we do have a TV in the living room. It's the only one we have. And my wife, it was sitting on this shelf. She wants me to hang the TV from the wall. So that's the first thing on the list to do these days. Huh. Exciting, right? All right, we're going to sight this rifle in this morning. This is going to be the primary rifle I'm going to use to hunt this year, deer hunt. It is a uh, LWRC, chambered in 5.56. We've got the suppressor on it and a Vortex Razor 1x6 powered scope. I actually went out and bought some different ammo for this hunting setup instead of just using my regular 55 grain full metal jacket uh 5.56 round i went and bought some federal premium 55 grain uh 223 trophy copper um it's a more of a hunting round and it's more i guess the bullet is designed to hunt deer with so a lot of people think you can't hunt deer with a small caliber rifle like this 223, which by the way, you can shoot a 223 through a 556. You can't shoot a 556 through a rifle that's chambered for 223, just to let you guys know that. Um, a lot of people think you can't hunt with these. I disagree. I think this is a plenty deadly round for whitetail deer. 
out to about 200 yards. Um, I've seen people kill deer with these rounds before very effectively. Uh, out to about 200 yards, that's why today we're gonna do the 50 yard zero, all right? In the military, we did a 25 meter zero. Uh, it's because we shot our quals out at 300, so it gave us a zero at 25 and a zero at 300. The 50 meter zero or 50 yard zero, I think, is probably the best distance to zero this caliber rifle at. Uh, I can zero it at 50. It's going to put me about maybe an inch and a half high at 100 maybe two inches high at 150 and then somewhere between 200 and 225 yards i'm going to be back on zero so from 50 all the way out to the maximum range that i'm going to be shooting this rifle at a deer i'm going to be basically right within the kill zone so i got a little box set up out there at 50 yards and um, we'll shoot a three shot group with this and see where we're at. All right, let's go see where we're at. All right, so here's our group. You guys can see that. So we're about one, two, three inches left, maybe an inch high. So we need to come back to the right. Right, three inches. That's gonna be 12 clicks. And then we need to come down Maybe an inch. All right, let's do it again. keep coming back to the right I'm gonna come about six more clicks to the right let's go with seven and I'm gonna come about four more clicks down 
All right, let's try it out. All right, there's our group. So we came a little bit too far to the right. We'll bring it back to the left. I don't know, three clicks. I'm not a sniper, by the way. Let's see. I think we're good with our elevation up and down. Try it out. All right, we got one, two. I made a couple adjustments on the fly down there. This was the last shot. After this one, I brought it one click back up. So we're gonna shoot one more group just to confirm. I'm gonna mark these. Hopefully we'll be right there on this next group. Close enough for government work. One, two, three. Right where we want them to be. So we're dialed in. I'm going to go clean this gun up because it um, hadn't been clean in a long time. And they get sure enough dirty with these suppressors. So I'm happy with that. Actually, the first thing I'm going to do is zero out these turrets. Now that we've got the weapon dialed in. All right, she's clean enough for me. When I was in the Navy, the gunner's mates when we'd clean our guns at the end of a workup or deployment. We'd hand the guns back in, 
clean and they would stick their finger down into this chamber and if they came out with any black on their finger they'd give the gun back to us and we'd have to go back and clean it some more so obviously she's not as clean as she would be if I was going to turn her back into a gunner's mate but she's good enough for me so now I got to go into town and do some work because we're thinking about building a new podcast studio and I got to talk to a man about possibly renting a space for that. So that's where I'm headed. I'll see you guys soon. All right, so it's about 2.30. Finally getting to train now. I would have trained earlier this morning, but I wanted to sight that rifle in. The meeting went good with the dude about the uh, new podcast space. I think, or podcast studio space. I think that's gonna pan out. Uh, went ahead and locked that in, and we'll be building a new studio this coming up week. So I'm super pumped about that. This track right here that I'm running on today this is the track that I trained for the Mid-State Mile Race. If you've seen the documentary, uh, Just One Mile in 2021, this is the track I trained on. It's about three miles round trip. It's got uh, about maybe 700 feet of climb and descent, so it's pretty steep. Uh, I'm going to go up and down this track two times, and then we'll probably do some push-ups and some pull-ups just to uh, I'm leaning into my strength. Uh, I always do a little more strength work in the winter time. So this is a fun track. I'll take some footage for you guys along the way. So it'll give us um, six total miles plus whatever strength work that we do. Uh, we're going to knock this out. This will be our training session for the day. Here we go. All right.
So there's a view at the top. It's kind of like a big bald up here. And uh, this is my second time to the top. So we're about to head back down and uh, get this run done. I know it's just been a few seconds for you guys, but for me, it's my second round up. Beautiful day. All right, see you guys at the bottom. All right, good run. I'm gonna knock out 100 push-ups here in sets of 20 and 30 good dead hang pull-ups just off the rafters of this uh, pole barn. So I'm sure you guys don't wanna sit here and watch me do push-ups and pull-ups. So I'm gonna knock them out and uh, go get some chow because I'm hungry. I'll catch y'all at chow. And man, y'all are going to be paying less than you were before. Boo, will you tell the people about SD? What, who this is? Yeah. This is S. Thomas Dillard. S stands for S. Thomas Dillard. We call him STD for short. Is he a good goat? He's an alright goat. When he doesn't hook you in the face. I think he's a good goat compared to beefsteak Enos. Beefsteak's a rough goat. <laughs> he's a rough customer. STD is the alpha male of this herd right here. They get walked at least once a day. It's my favorite part of the day. I don't know if a goat will cross a creek or not. I guess they'll, they might jump across it. Oh, Squirt found a dry route. Cheaters. Goats hate water. They're all cheating. Yep. They all found a dry route. Good job, shake your legs. Shaggy legs feel like a deer right now. Yeah, they cheated that, didn't they? <clears throat> All right, YouTube. That's a wrap for the day. The first episode of... Um, what will hopefully be many more. You guys drop a comment. Let me know what you liked, what you didn't like, what you want to see more of. 
I'm about to go throw a ribeye on the smoker for dinner. I'll put these goats up, feed them their grain for the evening, and spend a little time with my wife. Just enjoy the evening. It's been a good day. Thank you guys for tuning in. I'll see you next time.